All right, so let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Exam, Birth to Grade 2 Mathematics. Now, because you're watching this video, I am assuming that you are preparing to take this teacher certification exam, and that is fantastic. And uh, what I have for you here is a question that you should be able to solve pretty easily if you are fully prepared for the math that you're going to see on the New York State Teacher Certification Exam, Birth to Grade 2. All right, so here is the question, and uh, it says the following, which is the correct ratio? So here is the actual problem, three and one half days to six days, what is the ratio of this uh, expression right here? Well, you do have a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is one to three, B is one to four, C is 7 to 12, D is 5 to 9, and E is 11 to 18. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. I'm also the founder of TC Math Academy. And uh, there I have done many test prep courses to include a New York State Teacher Certification Exam Birth to Grade 2 Math Test Prep course. You can find a link to that in the description of this video, but it is very comprehensive and uh, it's actually one of our most popular courses. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer here. Again, what is the correct ratio of three and one half days to six days? The correct answer is C, which is seven to 12. Now, if you got this right, that is excellent, but uh, by no means is this an indication that you are fu uh, fully prepared for uh, this exam, as there is a lot of material. But um, if you didn't get this right, just use this as feedback. But uh, if you did get this right, that is fantastic. So let's go ahead and get into this right now, because ratios is a very important part of basic mathematics. Okay, so the question is, which is the correct ratio? Well, we really can't answer the question if we don't really know what a ratio is. So let's go down here and define a ratio right now. All right, so a ratio is essentially a fraction. Okay, so the question is, what is the correct ratio or what's the ratio of this statement? But we can express this statement as a fraction, three and one half days to six days. Now this word two, okay, this is the fraction bar or the division symbol. And uh, a ratio is in contrast to uh, something very similar that's called a rate. So we're dealing with uh, ratios, rates, and proportions. This is essential basic math that you need to know. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this ratio. Okay, so three and one half days two. Now again, the division or fraction bar here is the word two. So three and one half days, two, six days, this is a ratio. So what we're looking for is a fraction that is equivalent to this fraction right here. So if I said here is a fraction, four over eight, can you think of another fraction that is equivalent to this fraction? Well, hopefully you're saying yes, of course. How about one half and the, uh, that would be uh, actually correct. Of course, there's other uh, correct answers as well. But this word two, okay, in terms of math symbology, this little colon right here means the same thing. So you're gonna see ratios expressed uh, with the word two, or maybe as a fraction, or with this uh, colon, again, this means two. All right, so how do we approach this problem? Well, now that we understand what a ratio is, we do have a multiple choice question here, and that's gonna make things a lot easier so effectively, what we're looking for is which one of these answers right here, or these ratios right here, is the same as this fraction. So we could express these ratios as fractions. Matter of fact, uh, the ratio 1, 2, 3, we could express as 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we're trying to determine which ratio okay, is equivalent to 3 and 1 half days to six days. And this is gonna bring us to another very important property of something called a proportion. All right, so let's test this first answer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can use the answers here to get the right answer on an exam. 
But uh, if we have two equal fractions, let me just kind of write something here. One half is equal to five over 10. Okay, so a ratio, as I indicated, is a fraction. So one fraction equal to another fraction. One half is the same in value as the fraction five over 10. By definition, this is what we call a proportion in mathematics. But uh, when you have a proportion, two equal fractions, you have a very interesting uh, property that has taken place, and this is called the cross product. So when you cross multiply, the results are the same. So here, uh, if, we, if we go two times five, then we're gonna write this like this, uh, two times five, and this would be equal to one times 10. So the cross products are equal. Okay, so that's basically what I was trying to say. So two times five is 10, one times 10 is 10. So the cross products are equal when you have a proportion and a proportion is two equal fractions. Okay, so uh, one half, by the way, is the same ratio of as five over 10. So let's talk about this real quick. So if this ratio is one to two, okay, this ratio is five to 10, but you can simplify this fraction down to one half. So the ratio five to 10 is the same thing as the ratio one to two, okay? so. If we're looking for what is the correct ratio of three and one half days to six days, well, we could just simply test these values using the cross product. All right, so let's go ahead and do this uh, with this first problem right here. As a matter of fact, let me kind of back up and do the work right here, and then we'll take a look at the right answer. So uh, three and one half uh, days to six days, and we can kind of drop the days right now, right um, for the purposes of just uh, looking for the right answer. And let's go ahead and test the first option. Okay, so the first option here is uh, one, two, three. Okay, again, we can express that as the fraction one, two, three. But if these two here are in the same ratio, the cross product will be equal. Okay, and you're gonna see that this cannot be the case because six times one is what? Well, six times one is six and three times three and one half is not going to be six. It's going to be uh, well over nine because it's three times, if it was just three, it would be three times three or nine. So you can see clearly that this is not going to work out. We're not gonna get six is equal to six, right? Because six times one is six on this side. So three times, you, you know, simplify it. This is called this three, that's gonna be nine. So there's no way that this is in a one to three ratio. All right, so we can kind of just continue to go through these answers until we get to the right answer. Now, if this wasn't a multiple choice question, you could uh, basically kind of reduce this down, okay? Uh, reduce this particular fraction, but let's just go ahead and stick with the problem as it is. Now let's test seven uh, over 12 or seven to 12 because this is the right answer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the cross product and cross multiply. So six times seven should be equal to 12 times three and one half. Now, of course, we are dealing with a mixed number fraction here. So let's go ahead and write it as an improper fraction. So that's gonna be two times three, which of course is six plus one. So three and one half is the same thing as the improper fraction seven over two. So 12 times seven over two is what? Well, two goes into 12, six and six times seven is indeed 42, so 42 is equal to 42, meaning that uh, seven to 12 is the ratio of, is or the same ratio as three and one half to six. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content, well, you know, that is fantastic. I post this content or I make this content to help individuals like you, okay? So if you're spending time with me to learn math, obviously I want you to do well on this certification exam and become a teacher. We definitely or desperately need uh, great uh, teachers. So again, I'm here to help. But uh, the best help that I can offer you is going to be in my uh, certification math prep courses, okay? You're gonna find the link to this uh, particular exam or particular test prep course in the description of this video. But also, uh, hopefully you will uh, just kind of follow me on YouTube. It definitely helps me out and I'm posting a ton of content that uh, can definitely benefit you uh, 
on this exam as well. Some of it, it won't, may not be on this exam. I don't, I'm not going to post anything about uh, the New York State Teacher Certification Exam B uh, through grade two, birth of grade two, and do calculus because calculus is not going to be on that exam. So there's a lot of math that you don't need to know. So when I do a specific uh, video on a specific test, well, obviously I'm, gonna, I'm talking about math that you definitely will need to know for that exam. All right, so let's go ahead and finish it up. So the question is three and one half days to six days, which is the correct ratio? Well, we figured out it is seven to 12 because uh, the cross product is equal or uh, three and one half um, over six is the same as this fraction here, seven over 12. And we could have even done this a kind of a different way. We could have done uh, three and one half is what? Well, that's going to be two times three is six plus one. So that's seven over two over six. And it, this would have worked out as seven to 12 as well. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. And uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the New York State Teacher Certification Exam, birth to grade two. I mean, uh, every exam that you take as a teacher, and I know what it's like to take these certification exams, what you don't want to do is underestimate the exam okay so make sure you are fully prepared and uh, you know do a lot of work in advance so when you do uh, have your you know actual exam and it's test day you can go in there with a lot of confidence and just pass that thing get your certification and move on with your life okay so with all that being said i thank you for your time and have a great day